my name is Jim Shepard. I own uh, Shepard Engine Development here in Muscatine, Iowa. Our location here, it's not too far from town, but it's not too far out in the sticks. Pretty much you can do whatever you want, whenever you want. So if I gotta run the dyno at three in the morning, uh, try not to, but it does happen. We build basically race engines or performance engines. Our mainstay is the dirt late model market, both open and uh, spec engines. We also build a lot of drag race engines. Predominantly, the drag and drive has been pretty popular. Uh, that's definitely fun. Pretty much anything that's performance based that comes in the door. I've been building engines since 97 or 1998. A friend of mine was uh, racing our local track. Uh, before you know it, I'm uh, building his engines and traveling all across the country. And I've always liked uh, mechanical things for as long back as I can remember. I was a dumb kid that took his bike apart and pretty fortunate to get it back together at times. I always liked loud things, so before you knew it, I was hanging around the racetracks and the engine part was the most intriguing to me. I was lucky enough that uh, Chad Holliday, a long-term friend and customer, he kick-started this business. Won multiple, multiple championships with his late model. Uh, if he doesn't have five or six championships over the years, I'd be pretty, pretty surprised. When I worked for Carl Wagner, kind of did the NASCAR thing there for quite a while, and we got to do some development stuff there with the LS series engines for the NASCAR spec engine back in the day. The Zeitners, Corey and Justin, we also did stuff for Corey's dad, Charlie McKenna, Kurt Schroeder, a ton of guys it's hard to remember off the top of your head. Proud to call them customers and friends. Our mainstay in our shop is the dirt late model market, both uh, uh, open and restricted or spec engines, what have you. We're kind of dipping into like the uh, MPK cars there with a Brad Anderson Hemi. Also a uh, Buick Rover, an old uh, Buick-based uh, engine that Land Rover took over, and then we do some uh, road race or autocross projects. Pretty cool project. Uh, definitely a little bit different mentality on it. Basically just look to improve our ring seal throughout the whole process there. Every time we work on it, we get a little bit better. We try a lot of things. Uh, we work with different companies, uh, including Total Seal, that uh, works hand-in-hand -hand with Rattler. Uh, I can talk some surface finish values there with Keith or any of the guys there from Total Seal, and uh, we can figure out how to get that surface finish there with our with our Rattler hone. And that's been one of the main focuses here the last few years is our ring seal and our cylinder finish. And the Rattlers are kind of the centerpiece of the machine shop area of our business here, and uh, you can have one person operating multiple machines a lot of times. The Rattler equipment's super easy to use. When you're trying to figure out what cutter to use or what stone to use there to get a, a surface finish you're looking for, it's just a phone call away. The quality and repeatability, our, our vacuum numbers are up on our dry sump engines, our blow by numbers are down on our uh, wet sump engines, and uh, yeah, it's, you can't, can't go wrong. <laughs>